about how I pinned Gail Kim. That was no fluke. Gail, I'm a legitimate threat to your championship. And I'm not just a pair of assets. Brooke Hissmacher, remind all of us that she pinned Gail Kim, the knockouts champion. Oh! Another opening from Brooke Hissmacher. Gonna get him. Quick pin attempt, leg hook. Oh! And she just beat the champ again. Three straight weeks. She has defeated the knockouts champion, Gail Kim. And as a result, she is in line for a knockouts title match this Sunday at Sacrifice. Brooke Tessmacher takes on Gail Kim for the TNA Knockouts Championship. Well, let's keep this title match theme rolling because up next, the Knockouts Championship is going to be at stake and we're going to preview this Knockouts title bout, the Knockouts tail of the tape with the bullet points for Gail Kim and Brooke Tessmacher. Safe to say, Brooke has the number of our champ three-week stretch, Brooke Pingale three times, including twice in tag matches. Past Thursday on Impact Wrestling, after Tessmacher defeated Velvet Sky, Gail Kim showed her frustration for the three losses. Champ trying to get inside the head of the challenger to see if that strategy pays. Mind games of Gail Kim, just a part of the overall package. Gail, who's held the gold since defeating Velvet Sky back in November, enters tonight's title defense with a huge advantage when it comes to experience, will the champ be able to parlay that edge into another victory, or will Brooke become the knockouts title holder for the first time? The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the knockout championship. Introducing first from Houston, Texas, Brooke Tessmacher! Challenger has the support of the fans here at the Impact Zone in Orlando for Sacrifice. Hey, Brooke, uh, Brooke Tessmacher looks great. I love that new ring attire. That, uh, I guess that's kind of like a cage slash gown type of... Well, it's yeah, gone. It's, it's gone now. <laughs> what do you think of that new attire? Oh, she should be part of the Avengers. <laughs> All by himself. I'll be the villain. You be the hero, honey. Let's go. And her opponent from Toronto, Canada, the knockout champion, Gail Kim. We both sense the frustration from Gail Kim. The attack on Brooke Tessmacher. Thursday night Impact Wrestling broadcast. I think it was just that, that situation where Gale fed up with the three consecutive losses to Brooke Tessmacher. And if you think back, one of those losses came with Gale's own finishing move, Eat Defeat. Yeah, that when that happens, it's bad enough when you feel like someone has your number when you are the champion, like Gale Kim. But then to add insult to injury, they uh, defeat you, pardon the pun, with your move. That's definitely, you know, something that would uh, upset me. And you see right there, it's a world heavyweight, I'm sorry, the knockouts heavyweight title. It's not really heavyweight. This girl's not that heavy. <laughs> you get my point. Knockouts title. Third time's a job. Woo! <laughs> well, we talked about the test marker hat trick. That's true. See, Gail Kim just not wasting time. And that's smart. Get right after it. Go after the challenger. You know she wants you. You know she has had your number. Get on her. I love it. Great strategy by Gale right here. Talk about those three wins for Brooke over Gale. Obviously, it's, it's got to provide a certain level of confidence for Brooke Tessmacher. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. But you have to wonder at the same time, is there going to be doubt in the mind of Gale Kim? I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't think... Uh, you know, she right there, she was going for eat the feet again. You see <laughs> Tessmacher trying to do Gale's move to frustrate her and it worked. I, I don't think, uh, I, I'm sorry, I should say, I think Gail Kim, a knockouts champ, she's pretty intelligent. And I don't think she's gonna show her cards to anyone, Mike. So if she is nervous about Brooke, I, I don't know if she's exactly showing it that much. Right now, she's getting a rear end whooped out here though, I'll tell you that much. 
And when it comes to experience in big time matches, high profile, Whoa. championship oh. bouts. Wow! Quick, explosive clothesline out of the corner. That was impressive, man. Sure was. Especially the way that she was able to regroup in the corner, turn around and come flying out with the offense. Again, she was going for Gail Kim's move, that eat the feet move. I, she's putting a boot in her face trying to nail a move. I'm surprised that Brooke went for the second time. Ooh, man. What a message that would send. To, yeah. to beat Gale for how do I the get, championship? How do I get one of those messages? <laughs> Is that like an electronic message? How does that work? Ooh. Well, the uh, midsection was wide open, and Gale Kim just exploited it. Kicked Brooke right in the ribs and ran up a cup four, and she's still coming with stuff. Look at this. Champ with the clothesline, and then the far leg hook for a near fall. This is what Gail Kim, what she's so good at. When she has her opponent down, she'll keep that pressure on. Even though Brooke Tessmark of the challenge has shown a lot of heart. No quit, she's still fighting back. Powerful forearm shot from, from Gail Kim and then follows up. Brooke fired off into the corner wow. and then that's Gail Kim just throwing her body at her opponent. See how quick Gail land on the apron on her feet, showing that amazing athleticism by the beautiful knockouts champ right there, Gail Kim. You hear her yep. saying, Gail saying, eat my feet. Eat my feet. Remember those words, Mike, tonight when you're going to sleep. Eat my feet, that Gail said that. Not exactly what I'm into, but whatever floats your boat, Taz. I'm all good. Backbreaker across the knee, and now Gail extending the body of, of Brooke Tessmacher, wow, breaking this. back on, on the neck. I mean, you can just see the, the pain right there that Brooke Tessmacher is in her spine, just being contorted with that knee in the top of her quad, uh, Gail Kim's thigh, her quad muscle, right across the small of the back of Brooke Tessmach. And the way Gail is, is Ooh, using wow. this, that's well, a, a great submission hold to try. Free leg and knee of the challenger comes into play. Oh, God, wow. A lot of rage in that clothesline right there by the knockouts champion. Just prancing around the ring. You dissect that move then, Mike. I'm not really sure how to... Thought you were going to say you wanted to sign up for that, too. <laughs> My tongue went numb. Ooh. I'll tell you, Brooke Tessmach's jaw might go numb with a few of those forearms. Uh, exploding right there, Brooke Tessmacher right into the champion. Both knockouts are down here. Referee Brian Stifler, with the apropos name, counting to see which knockout will get to their feet first. Pretty close at this point. Brooke recovers, but ends up going into the corner, able to get the boot up as Gail came charging in. Wow. Nice. Look at this, Brooke Tessmacher. And these are just some of the reasons why she's got three victories on Gail Kim leading into this match. Oh, oh my God! Quickly flying into the corner, then the face plant takes Gail down. Brooke headed to the top. Sure is. Now what? Say what, Gail's far away. Oh, God, right in the elbow drop. Follow pin. Here's two. And that was a high elbow off the top rope. Right smack dab in the middle of the stomach. The abdomen area of Gail Kim. I had a knock the wind out of Gail. That was nasty. Physical contest here. Really has been. When it comes to a knockouts title match, so very physical between Gail and Brooke.
Oh, there it is. Oh, she went for eat the feet. Oh! oh. <laughs> Answered by Brooke. And Brooke connects with the move we said earlier. Boy, if she could just beat her with her own move and win the championship. But fortunately for, for Gail Kim, the impact of the move sent her flying out to the floor. Well, Brooke, Brooke went for that eat the feet twice in this match, which is Gail's move, as we said, and nailed oh, no, it. No, rolls her in. She's Double got leg hook. She's Here we got go. Now, that was super close. You could just see that Brooke Tessmacher. She's shocked. She can't believe she didn't get the victory there. Don't waste your time, Brooke. Try, just try and get on Gail here. It's an opening. Oh, there was the There was an opening. The double using the she's ropes got for leverage and gets the pin. Your winner and still knockout champion, Gail Kim. Shortcut by the knockouts title holder, Gail Kim, proves the difference. Pin attempt is one thing. Using the ropes for that extra leverage to ensure that your opponent is not able to kick out another. And Gail Kim still has the title. Yeah, definitely uh, some Tom Fullery and shenanigans by the gorgeous and very proud knockouts champ right there, Gail Kim. And a very disappointed Brooke Tessmacher. I think very, very proud and very fortunate is Gail Kim as we go back and see. How lucky was Gail here that the impact of each defeat from Brooks sent her out to the floor where she had that yeah, recovery well, period. There's that double leg reps looking at the shoulders, doesn't see the feet of the champion on the ropes. That was, uh, well, high rate robbery at its blatant best, but we still have our knockout champ is Gail Kim. Gail Kim retains the goal that sacrifice as we send it to Jeremy Borash, JB standing by with the new World Tag Team Champions.